For most parents, welcoming a baby into the world is a true blessing. However, some people struggle to conceive. As such, the services of a surrogate are called on. For one woman, being a surrogate seemed like a great idea at the time. Her husband and herself were running a little low on cash, and the surrogacy was offering a handsome compensation. However, this surrogacy quickly got messy, and for reasons no one could have fathomed in their wildest dreams. Jessica Allen was your average American woman. She was happily married with two beautiful children, but darkness loomed over the couple. They'd recently moved into a new house. However, the house ended up costing a bit more than the pair could afford. As such, Jessica made a drastic decision. One day, she saw an advert for people seeking a surrogate. When Jessica saw the compensation, she did not hesitate to call the couple. But this is where the drama began. Being a surrogate mother can take a lot out of a woman emotionally. When Jessica made the call to become a surrogate, her family weren't sure of the choice. Her husband was unsure of whether she'd be able to sever the emotional ties. However, Jessica reasoned that she was in a sound enough headspace to deal with it when it happened, but she had no idea just how emotionally attached they'd both become to the baby. Wardell was not pleased with the developments, to say the least. Even though she swore not to get attached, he knew his wife. She loved their two children fiercely, and he worried about the bond she would have with another child. Furthermore, he was not too pleased about the fact that they could not consummate until she was officially a pregnant surrogate. But when Jessica did fall pregnant, the first ultrasound visit left the whole family gobsmacked. Jessica went for a routine check as per usual, but that day there were some surprises waiting for her. As the doctor performed the ultrasound, he noticed something odd. He picked up two little heartbeats furiously fluttering away. When he told Jessica, her jaw nearly hit the floor. She walked out dazed. As she phoned the couple to let them know, she beamed with excitement. The couple Jessica was caring for agreed to an hour's worth of bonding time post-birth. This would allow Jessica to properly say goodbye to the little lives she'd carried for nine months. Jessica was incredibly grateful for the opportunity. She'd grown fond of the babies. She also couldn't believe how quickly nine months had flown by. It was a bittersweet ending to a surreal chapter of her life, but when she gave birth, everything changed. When Jessica gave birth to the twins, she noticed something peculiar. Something about one of the boys' faces just didn't seem to match up. Jessica quickly brushed the thought aside and continued to enjoy her bonding hour. She marveled at the two beings she'd carried for so long, but every time she looked upon them, something just didn't seem right. When the hour was up, Jessica hesitantly handed back the babies, but in her heart, she knew something just was not right. Against her better judgment, Jessica said farewell to the twins. This was difficult at first, but after a few days, things started to look up for her once more. She'd done something remarkable, and that made her feel good, but this feeling wasn't to last. One evening, Jessica was preparing for bed. Suddenly, her phone flashed. When she read the message, her heart dropped. The accusatory message was accompanied by a photograph. The more Jessica studied it, the more her fears bubbled to the surface. All in one sickening instant, the realization dawned on her. How had she not seen it before? What Jessica didn't know was that she was about to begin the battle of her life. The message glared back at Jessica. It read, they're not the same, right? Turns out Jessica wasn't the only one perplexed by the twins. A shockwave jolted through her as she realized the terrible truth. But before she could recover, another message came through. This time, she was asked a poignant question. The second message read, Have you thought about why they're different? Jessica knew the truth in her heart already and was relieved she was not alone. But this didn't make the revelation any less painful. In fact, it made it worse. Jessica braced herself for the blow she knew was coming. But how was it possible? What had she done? One of the babies shared a striking resemblance to her husband, Jasper. Her hands started to shake as she thought about the implications, but she brushed her fears aside once more. She didn't even want to think about the possibility that her worst fears were based on reality. There was only one thing to do. She had to know. Jessica and the new mother continued to chat over the phone. The women were discussing what to do now going forward. However, in the back of their minds, both knew there was only one solution. As the call ended, a DNA test had been called for. This left Jessica in a whirl of confusion. 
Her brain worked at a million miles per hour, playing out all the possible scenarios. But when the tests came back, all of Jessica's worst fears were confirmed. The DNA test confirmed Jessica's suspicions and the sheer gravity of what she'd done had hit her like a ton of bricks. It was any mother's worst nightmare, and it was happening to her. The realization of what she'd done was almost too much to bear. She had unwittingly given away her own child. The DNA results left everyone in utter awe. Turns out one of the twins was actually the biological child of Jessica and her husband. People couldn't believe what they were told. The twins were a medical anomaly. Once the surrogate couple's embryo had been impregnated, Jessica continued to ovulate during pregnancy. As such, she and her husband were able to conceive while she was carrying. But this is where a ton of problems began to surface. At first, Jessica and her husband were overwhelmed with the news. They were already in a financial bind, but luckily the surrogacy money would tide them over. Then the excitement kicked in. They had a baby, but this was short-lived. The couple who had what they now knew was their own baby dropped some devastating news. When they began discussions about getting their baby boy back with the surrogate couple, they mentioned that Jessica would have to buy the child back from him. They could either reimburse them the $22,000 they'd compensated her or go through the legal adoption of their child. And that's when things got ugly. The couple began to point fingers. They accused Jessica of not following protocol when conceiving. But she swore she'd waited until she was declared pregnant before her and her husband consummated. But the couple grew more and more agitated. They made remarks about how she wouldn't see her son again if she didn't pay up. This sent Jessica into a spin. But then the truth about their approach came out. The surrogate couple revealed that they were being influenced by their lawyer to heckle Jessica for payment. Their lawyer had been spinning stories about Jessica to them. He told the couple Jessica had been threatening to sue them for custody of her son. Turns out Jessica had never even considered a suit against them. All she wanted was her miracle son, Malachi. But there was a happy ending to this story. After much deliberation and one unhappy counsel on the surrogate couple's side, Jessica got her boy back. Now her husband Wardell and their two other children could welcome him into their home. The awesome foursome was now five, and they'd never been happier. The little guy doesn't even know what a mark he's made within the news world yet, but all that matters is that he's finally where he belongs.